Hello everybody, the Nameless Narcissist here once again, simple man diagnosed with MPD, giving you the facts on narcissistic personality disorder and things that go on in my head. If you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe, but keep in mind, I am no clinician, I can only speak to my own experiences. <clears throat> so, I'm honestly kind of surprised I haven't done a video on this before, but I may have, I don't know. The thing with narcissists is that I almost think it's integral. Like, I'm actually writing a list of symptom criteria right now, like, trying to find what I think is most central to the disorder. And this would probably be, like, <clears throat> in, like, the top five, at least. Well, depending on how many criteria I have, right? Um, but this one is so central to how this disorder, like, functions, right? Hierarchies. How we are always, we rank everything on a hierarchy. I have a hard time even understanding what something is like, if it's good or bad, if I'm not comparing it to something. Um, and this brings in a lot of cluster B like stuff too. It's like, we only see people as better than worse. Of course, nothing is equal, obviously. And that's black and white thinking, right? And the extremes that come along with it. It's like, if I'm better than everybody, then I am worth something. If I'm worse than everybody, I am the worst thing in the world. And that's how um, the fluctuation between grandiosity and vulnerability happen. We can't genuinely like ourselves or feel like we're anything valuable. So the second best thing is proving we're better than everybody else <laughs> or telling ourselves that we're better than everybody else. Um, something that always, I used to get into like fights about this, like when I was younger, of how objective I view the hierarchy. Like, and a lot of people bring up like, oh, well, you can't measure one person by one metric. I'm like, yeah, but then they're weighted, right? There's one that's the most important, one that's like the second most important, one that's the third most important. And like, you can kind of figure out from there. Um, and like... I would always be so confused by people saying that like everyone has intrinsic worth, right? What, you're worth something because you had the misfortune of being born? I, I would always say that like, the only worth that you have is the worth that you can earn. And again, I know all this is kind of crazy talk, right? This is all pathological. Um, and actually one of the only things that somebody's ever said to me that made me be like, oh, um, maybe I am wrong, is when they told, they asked me, like, is a baby worthless? And I was like, ah, shit, maybe not. Maybe I gotta rethink this. And it's... <sighs> That's a big thing, too. It's not only am I ranking, like, everything... I, like, I'm, I go into a room and I'm ranking myself already, right? I'm trying to figure out who's top dog, who's the most valuable, who's the coolest, the loser, the most socially well-connected, Right? And what's funny that I see happening is where my, how my pr protective grandiosity comes in is that like I may rearrange the objectively like best way of measuring worth in my favor if I'm in a situation where I feel like I'm threatened some way. The only thing I don't really do that to is intelligence because like I can't or I'll have to like justify, I try to justify to myself why their intelligence is worse than mine, even if they maybe they uh, perform better. So, oh, a great example. I have a friend. Uh, the this is the this guy is the only person I've met in my life that I would uh, argue was probably smarter than me, which takes a lot to tell me, given <laughs> given I am a pretty smart guy, right? And this guy um, took the ACT, and he got a thirty six out of thirty six or whatever. I think that was a max, right? Um, you know, I only got a 30. <laughs> Just because yeah, I was a bag of shit in school, though. That doesn't speak to my intelligence, damn it. But, <clears throat> and I didn't, I didn't know long division because I never bothered because I had a calculator. <laughs> but, whatever. Um, but, like, I very consistently have to try to justify myself why he was able to apply his intelligence in a way more constructive way than I was. Because th well, this was a test, right? It's hard for me to be like, oh, that's not an objective, that's not a measure of intelligence, right? And, I mean, he's never had an IQ test done, so we can't go from, and that's another thing, which I do find hilarious, and I've talked about it a little bit, is how, like, the, like, what's more important, for some reason, the more important thing to me is the, like, essence of, um, 
intelligence rather than how you apply it, right? So like maybe I do have a higher IQ than my one buddy, but even if I do, that's kind of worthless given that he, um, you know, was able to apply it in a really good and constructive way, got into a pretty damn good university. He's doing way better in life than I am. But I think I've had more fun. And you may ask, like, why can't two things on a hierarchy be equal? Because that doesn't make any sense. Right? Everything's different. Everything's different in certain ways. So there always has to be one that is objectively better. Um, and that probably speaks to my own identity disturbance, right? Me measuring myself against other people tells me who I am. It's like, who, if I'm the same as somebody, then, like, if I'm, like, average and the same as people, then that would mean, like, I don't even exist. Like, I'm just, like, imagining, like, I don't know if you guys ever seen it, but the NPC meme, <laughs> where it's just, like, these very um, bland figures that just go on, on and on and on forever. I just feel like I'd be one of them. Just an amorphous mass of people who don't even, I don't know, they just aren't real. I just don't feel real. I, I wish I could find a better way to explain it. In another one of my videos, I compared it to enmeshment in, in BPD because I didn't I didn't really understand enmeshment until I compared it to like be like being the same as somebody. I think that's why I hate like, and maybe that's why that maybe that's why I'm so distant in my relationships. Right, the idea of being the same as somebody, like I am still that. I cease to be anything special. I just become like a, I don't know, a ball of flesh with another person. And like, like I'll look at people who go everywhere with their partners and stuff, and I will just sit there just thinking how pathetic they are, being like, you don't even have a personality other than being in a relationship. You are nobody, you're nothing. No offense, by the way, to anybody who kind of lives like that. Uh, I'm crazy. I didn't really tie those two things together until now. That might be that might be something to think about. But yeah, I mean, like, you know, and I just had another realization. When I'm talking about it, I'm like, if you're the same as somebody, then how are you even somebody? Probably your guys' responses would be something along the lines of like, because like we're still unique, even though we're equal. And I wanted to talk about that more, but it makes so little sense to me. I'm not sure if I can. Okay, how, if you have two things, right? And they have exactly equivalent worth. Um, or, yes, yes. Or they have the exact same, like, I don't know, you have two, like, <laughs> if you have, like, two water bottles that are exactly the same, like, those aren't different, they're the same, and they're worth the same. And then, and like, they're the same thing. But then if you have anything else that has different qualities, then it's going to objectively have different measures of worth to it. And if it has different measures of worth, or vice versa, if it has different measures of worth to it, then it's gonna have different qualities, right? So how can you be the same but equal? When I talk about this, I almost sound like I'm a racist just based on the connotations of American history. I am not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm talking about it in an in, in, in abstract way, nothing political or unsavory coming from the past, by the way. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, that just kind of hit me how bad that sounded. But yeah, um, or at least now I'm like, now I'm just thinking, oh man, did it sound like that? Or did I just get paranoid? And now people are now thinking that it sounded like that because I protected myself against it sounding like that. Fuck, whatever. I hope you guys understand that I'm not arguing for racism. <laughs> oh my God, but okay. But like, okay, let's do people on an individual, like me on an individual basis though, and me comparing myself to somebody else. Like, 
if I have more intelligence, and then that's a difference that increases my worth. And if he's stronger, then he has a difference that like gives him an increased amount of worth. Then we can debate about which one of those is more valuable, right? I think I'll always go for intelligence. But strength is like, you know, it's also something valuable. That's something that adds value. Um, let's say he is settled down with a very shitty woman. That's something that distracts from his worth. Wait. Why does it distract from his worth if... Mm. I gotta think about that actually. Why do I inherently think that it distracts from his worth if he's with a woman? Oh, well, it's probably because of how I do what I was talking about earlier. If you're in a relationship and attach it all, <clears throat> then you're the same person. And because, like, the value of the person that you choose to be with has an innate reflection of your own value. And also it's who you choose to be with. So it's also an admittance of your own value. Sometimes I think about these things and as I'm trying to logically go through them in my head, I'm like, hmm, my intelligence allows me to rationalize way too many of these things, don't they? Doesn't it? Ah, oh, damn. Sorry I'm so hung up on intelligence today. I'm still in a bad space. So I'm tr my, I can feel my grandiosity trying to hammer into myself and I'm better than people because of my intelligence. Jesus Christ. I'll catch you guys later though. Get your fucking meds.